episode 52.5 the end of 2020 but before i move on to the potential savings we've had throughout 2020 i thought we'd do a little bit of housekeeping first um so but the last three weeks of 2020 data is in now so we've imported 11,837 kilowatt hours at a cost of 824 pound and six pence and we have generated 38,000 sorry 3,822 kilowatt hours and we had a really poor end to, to 2020 with the agile rates but the yearly averages worked out at 6.4 pence per kilowatt hour from everything that we drew from the grid and when you're adding what we actually generated from the solar, the average price per kilowatt hour is down to 4.5 pence per kilowatt hour. And that includes any VAT and daily charges. And the final summary of 2020, we've done 5,822 miles charged from home. We've imported 11,837 kilowatt hours. We've had a solar contribution of 3,822 kilowatt hours. So that's a total kilowatt hours of 15,659 kilowatt hours at a cost of £824.06. We've had a gas cost of £74.89. So that's a total cost for 2020 of £898.95 for our utility. We've had four fit payments totaling £2,149.03. And that gives us a balance of minus £1,250.08 for all of 2020. But I think there's actually some extra hidden savings that I've had throughout the year as well. But before that, I thought I'd go through the setup that we have at home. We've got the two electric cars. So we've got the Tesla Model 3 2020. And we also have the Volkswagen e-Golf um, 2019 that's been a great car that is but that's due to go back this year to work out some extra savings i've had to do a bit of research on diesel and petrol prices so i've worked out the diesel prices at five pound 23 per gallon and i've worked out the petrol prices at five pound 10 pence per gallon and i've also put a few examples of ten thousand miles fifteen thousand miles and thirty thousand miles covered as well as the mileage that i covered throughout the year I've also added a 35 mile per gallon option and a 50 mile per gallon per option. And also on the very far right, I've added an electric comparison to what I've been achieving on the Octopus Agile rates. So you, so you get a good range of what, what's been going on with prices of electric versus petrol and diesel. I've also added two sets of miles per kilowatt hour. So that's three miles per kilowatt hour and four miles per kilowatt hour. Um, our mileage per kilowatt hour is probably nearer to four than it is to three but i'm going to use three as the example so that uh, in my calculations to be safe and also to also added uh, a grid only price and a grid and and solar price within within that um, i'll be using a grid and solar because i have been using the grid and the solar to price uh, charge the cars so please take a look at all options so you can get an example of what you could save if you had an electric car over a petrol or a diesel and on a different kind of electrical tariff as well. Um, the, the numbers that are in orange are actually the numbers that I, I have been achieving so that gives you an example of what I've been achieving throughout the year. We've also got to take a look at um, other electricity tariffs as well so I've taken an Octopus Super Green tariff um, I've had an average cost um, of the UK at 14.37 pence per kilowatt hour that's what the average cost that most consumers use every day I've also got the agile tariff and I've also got a British gas tariff on there and using that data I can actually actually take a look at how much have we saved throughout 2020 so looking at the driving first we've got to use 5822 miles as that's what we've um, driven this year during the covid times um we've used um a 35 mile per gallon petrol car because that's what we used to own before the electric cars um and as you can see that's turning out at 848 pound 35 pence to do them 5822 miles um i've also put an, ele an electric example in there and again that's on the highest 
electrical tariff I could find and that that's 283 pounds and 80 pence so there's always a massive saving even if you're on the highest of electrical of electrical tariffs but when you look at what I achieved um, with my electrical tariff I've only paid 87 pounds and 33 pence and again I've used three miles per kilowatt hour and not four just to be on the safe side or should I say on the side of the ice vehicle and that gives us a 761 pound and two pence saving over our old um, petrol car and um, when you start looking at the tariff settings again i've used the 11,837 kilowatt hours that we've used this year which is very which is a lot i'm not going to lie to you it is a lot of energy but if i was on the octopus green tariff i would have used 2,253 pounds and 80 pence if i was an average uk purchaser of electricity so the average cost per kilowatt hour it would have cost me £1,862.68 and on the British Gas Home Energy fixed tariff it would have cost me £2,503.51 and the Octopus Agile tariff that I've been using all year and I have had to work it quite hard to get these rates but it cost me £824.06 so that's given me a saving over the average UK price per kilowatt hour of six hundred and sixty one pounds and thirty one pence. Sorry, thirty eight pence. And again, I've used the least um, cost in the example to try and keep it as real as possible. And when we pull all that data together for the driving data, we've saved seven hundred and sixty one pounds and two pence. The tariff data we've saved. 661 pounds and 38 pence and from the feeding tariff we've um, achieved 2149 pence and three pence and that's given us a total save additional savings of 3571 pounds and 43 pence and when you put that together with the 10,500 pound investment in solar and the tesla power wall and a few other maintenance items and um, that gives us a payback of 2.94 years so that's how long it would take us to pay back so let's just round that up to three so a three-year payback on the system that 10,500 pound has has achieved uh, thanks for watching throughout 2020 and for the final time thanks for watching if you've got any questions or comments please add it to the section below and you might not agree with all the man maths but that's the way i've looked at it